let's show how to calculate optimal body weight using BMI or body mass index. All right, so in order to figure out exactly why we would do this or an example of when it would make sense to do this, let's frame this with a question. So Connor is overweight with a BMI of 29.1 kilograms per meter squared. He is currently 203 pounds and five feet 10 inches tall. He does not know his body fat percentage, and for some reason you can't do it for him. It's impossible to, to assess his body fat at this time. And so instead of using body fat percentage to calculate optimal body weight, which is sort of the, the better, more ideal way of doing this, let's uh, estimate optimal body weight using BMI, and then also let's calculate his excess body weights, um, which is the body weight he'd have to lose to get down to his optimal body weight. All right, so... Optimal body weight, the actual calculation here is um, optimal body weight equals the desired BMI times the height, times the height again. And notice we have this in kilograms, we have these in meters. Um, so we're working in the metric system and up in our, our question here, we're in the imperial system. So we need to convert to the metric system. So let's go ahead and just do that right off the bat. Um, so we'll eventually need to have those numbers. So 203 pounds divided by 2.2 gives us 92.3 kilograms. Uh, his height was five feet, 10 inches tall. So five feet times 12 inches per foot uh, plus the 10 inches uh, gives us 70 inches tall. Now let's convert from inches to meters. So 70 inches times 0 0.0254 gives us 1.778 meters. All right, so we now have his body mass and his height in the metric system, which is what we need. All right, so now let's talk about what would be the desired BMI. So the sort of optimal or desired BMI. Um, and this is something that, you know, the, it's up to the individual, up to you, know, it's you with, uh, to give them some guidance on. Um, and it's very spe uh, situation specific. Um, but let's go through a little thought process here and some different things you might want to think about. So the normal BMI range, so normal weight range is 18.5 to 24.9 kilograms per meter squared. All right, so the middle of that range, which you know ideally gives you the most cushion from being underweight or overweight, would be 21.7 kilogram, uh, kilograms per meter squared. So that might be a decent goal, but it's also probably an unnecessary goal because you just need to get into the range to have relatively normal health outcomes based on your, your body weight. So maybe a more realistic goal would be just to get into uh, the, the normal BMI range. So instead of doing 21.7, let's do 24 kilograms per meter square as a more realistic BMI goal. All right, so let's go back to our optimal body weight uh, calculation here. So we have desired body, uh, mass, body mass index or BMI times the height in meters times the height in meters again. Filling that in, this is what it looks like. So 24 times 1.778 times 1.778 again. All right, so let's do the last part first. So multiply the, the height by itself. So squaring the height, we get 3.161 meters square. Now we're gonna multiply the 24 by this and we get 75.9 kilograms um, because the meters square cancel each other out. And that is the optimal body weight in kilograms if the goal uh, BMI is 24 kilograms per meter square for this individual. So the optimal body weight they're trying to get to then is 75.9 kilograms. Um, and so let's figure out how much weight needs to be lost. So his current weight in kilograms was 92.3. Subtract out the optimal weight, 75.9, and you end up with 16.4 kilograms of weight loss needed in order to reach his goal BMI of 24 kilograms per meter square. Now this is all in the metric system and a lot of the world uses that, but let's um, do this, some of these calculations again using um, sort of our imperial uh, units that are common in the United States. Um, so we need to calculate back into pounds with some of these values. So 75.9 kilograms, which is was his ideal body weights for the BMI we chose. Multiply that by 2.2, we get 167 pounds as his optimal body weight for, again, a BMI of 24. Then uh, we can just subtract out his current weight, so 203 pounds, subtract out this ideal 
167 pounds and get that he needs to lose 36 pounds to get to his goal weight. The goal weight of the individual, the goal BMI of the individual is individual specific and you need to keep in mind your client's goals, their desired outcomes, and what is realistic. All right, so um, don't just kind of force a goal onto them. Make sure that you're working with them and creating uh, realistic, uh, achievable goals for uh, your client to sort of strive towards. Calculating optimal body weight using BMI is uh, is easy to do, and it's it's great when you uh, that's all you can do. But ideally, you would have the body fat percentage, and you do the optimal body weight calculations using body fat percentage instead of BMI because it doesn't uh, have the risk of uh, misclassifying weight as fat when it might be muscle or some other tissue. Uh, so. Ideally, you'd do that instead. I already have a video on how to do that. So if you want to see that, I will go ahead and put a link in the description below to that video.